got your aim right. So we came in, it's game time. MTC, get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal I'm talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone Facebook live, got you and stuff just like this Velcro You see it's growing, I can do this by myself though Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow Get sit and watch us do it, straight out the basement Now it's on the TV, you can view it You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it Someone turn up the music, we love the competition We gon' rock out till we finish Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fitty They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning I lock it and I don't lose focus, the target, I'ma hit it Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Y'all, friend, ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car I come through and set the scene, confident like movie stars Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it up Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one-on-one -on -one. I made this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can't be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now From Michigan to anywhere, we coming through your town I'm on a mission, who's the best, I gotta take them out Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal It's your boy Kiki Flay And I'm rockin' with MDC Much love, Josh, I appreciate the opportunity, fam And as always, said I'm out, y'all Yeah, 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 Hope you got your aim right. Cause we came in, it's game time. MTC, get your aim right, get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal I'm talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone Facebook live, got you and stuff just like this Velcro You see it's growing, I can do this by myself though Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow Get sit and watch us do it, straight out the basement Now it's on the TV, you can view it You go against the team that I'm with
What's up out there, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? See a couple of y'all checked in early. John and Andy, Josh Sloan out there. Been working on it all day today. Appreciate you, brother. Dan Carter, how are you? Day Day in here with me tonight. You already know another good night on the mic. Yeah, that's how we do. That's how we do. Got the new commentary look. If you notice, Josh made a couple changes. We uh, want to be able to... Uh, that was just the wind and the, the thing. We're watching for the pizza on my phone on the, the camera, so it's running a little late. But with the new highlight reel, the way it's coming, we had to change up the, the commentary look a little bit. So let us know what you think about that. I thought he killed it with that. I think it's a great new look. But pretty uh, pretty good match for you guys tonight. I think uh, I think these guys are both geared up to play. Farm said he hasn't... Uh, Hasn't been on the board much. He's been working a lot lately. As his uh, uncle was, uh, and half the crew that they normally work with had to shoot down to Florida to do a little emergency cleanup work. So he said he'd been on the steel tip a little bit, though. Yeah, he did. Uh, said he played Friday night or something over at Lodge, probably. John hey. says, uh, "Day day on the mic, old boy." Dan Taylor says he <laughs> likes the new look. Got a hello from Cat and, uh, and we got a cork howdy already. from Brent. Looks like we cork it now. And looks like Ronnie's going to start us off in game one. So here we go. Gordon and Patricia checking in to watch the watch one of their boys play for the second time this week. Hopefully your stickers uh, made it to you. Todd, we, we definitely off. love to have you out here. It'd be great. So uh, uh, you've seen your boy Kim got uh, made it out. Uh and the singles. So when you when you when you're ready to ma make a trip, man, let us know. And we'll uh, we'll make that happen for you, brother. Love to have Wags at the club. What's up, Rocky? Been our hottest player in the free entries. Rocky's been cleaning up, man. He's pretty good at handicapping these matches. So Michael Boone says, "Love the new look." Travis Johnson says, uh, "Good luck." Thirteen inch board. Dan Taylor expects. How we doing out there, Tina? She says, "What's up, guys?" UK Mark in the house. Looks like Ronnie Michelle. Max off to a good start. Yeah, he is. As uh, the wife checking in there, Michelle checking in and uh, watching the Hubs play tonight. BG with the light. PJ John Middleton says uh, new look looks good, so appreciate that. Talked to Gannon right. today was uh, for a second. I actually texted with him. Poo in the house out there. Thanks for the like, brother. These guys break tip second they get here, huh? That 17 tip wasn't there earlier. Michael Punch, <laughs> what's up? If you can hear the little wind, that's just I got the uh, the front door cams. We're watching for the uh, pizza delivery. We don't want to miss them back here, so. So Ronnie really coming out roping here in this first game, averaging 5.0. Yeah, looking looking real uh, together right now. What Ronnie, up, G? For sure. Yeah, he really came in with a picked up pace for sure. Farm just string string together some points. Yeah. Andrew McDermott, you know Farm, he loves to play from behind. He's yeah. got no problem with giving up an early lead. It's probably doing, you know, it gets him going. So definitely want to show a fight, no matter how far you are. Yeah, you're going to want to close strong setting. tonight. I feel like these these matches are going to be just like all this when you get this late. It, the, the closing is going to be where, where it's at, man. You got to you gotta get it done when you get a chance. I like that smart dart by Ronnie, even though he had two numbers. He, he went back to points after the close. Saw Heim out there, too, checking in. What's up, Heim? Jay's Customs in the house. Andrew Wingle, what up? Closing in on 50. Don't forget, you get that view, share, get that shared out there tonight. Let's do uh, anybody who shares the stream. You got to guess your winner. Give us uh, give us a score if you think uh, the set score. If you think it'd be 2-0 or 2-1, and uh, and take a guess on uh, total ton 80s, and we'll uh, we'll get us an, we'll get us a couple free entries for that person who does that. So share the stream. Just guess your winner in the ton 80s. You don't really have to put a match score. Minor hiccup by Ronnie. Minor, though. He can recover easily right here. Andrew says, hey, Scott and Day Day. What's up, Andrew? How are we? What's up? Uh... 
Dan says, please get that 16 painted. We're working on it. We got to. Dan Ronnie just not letting up with those points. I think this is a smart play. Game one, establishing himself. Yeah. How we doing out there, Mandy? Congrats on uh, closing on the house the other day. I I, I read and uh, that uh, that you guys got that done. I was talking to Ronnie about it a little closer to him too. He said uh, he said he stopped by actually on the way. Uh, played some darts with Brian on his way over. Let me turn that damn sound down. I wonder if they're hearing that. Ronnie's still looking like the favorite toward the fourth quarter of this match. Yeah, of he's a uh, uh, farm making him fight, though. Gannon's going with farm. Yeah, let's get those guesses out there. Share the stream and uh, give us your winner in total ton 80s and you get a chance to win three free entries. I think and 13 inch is a good guess tonight. Yeah. At it, least one. Yeah, I almost hope not because I didn't clean those tips out and it looks like crap. You oh, know? my. <laughs> but, we you know, need it. I'm not that selfish. I I, uh, I can be exposed. We know how long my uh, my stint at uh, head of maintenance lasted around here for all of 45 seconds. <laughs> A couple missed darts at the bowl, but still hits that trip 20. Ronnie's trip 20 is really nice right now. Yeah, he looks dialed in. That's where most of his uh, points came from, probably all. Oh, that's great news. Andrew said finally picking up the truck. I, I, it seems like they're starting to come in. Jerry, he just waited on, uh, he just waited quite a while on his, he, months and months. And uh, so I, I'm glad to see you guys starting to get these trucks in. Ordered them probably back in the summer. All right, good. We're getting some guesses in there. So just remember, just uh, just give us you who's going to win the match tonight and how many ton 80s you think there will be thrown in, in the whole match. Because if it does go to the tiebreaker, those ton 80s count as well. Ronnie is just a little struggling on the finish, and you got to tighten that up as the match goes Yeah, on. You, you don't want to do that against Farm. He's That's literally what he thrives on as as we speak here. Chris Swanson, thanks for the share out there to our last Saturday's champ. Look at this. Oh Look at this. And all of a sudden, Five he's got goals. a 50-point lead, and he's got a, he, he might have game shot if Ronnie doesn't clean this up here. That trip 20 has been real clean, but you're going to need to find one now. Single for the lead. Oh, oh big triple. Big. And that's what you want to do when you are still tested. a double gives them game shots, too, though. Yeah, exactly on it. That's exactly the way Farm loves to play, too. Okay, he's safe. So let's get those guesses in. Guess we really don't have to uh, have them in super soon, but we like to get them in the first couple, the first game or two, and then they're easier to find when I go back looking. Some would be like, oh, I picked this. Yeah, in, like, game six, <laughs> the match was almost over. Yeah. Rock right there. He's been running hot. I see Rocky with the right, says Ronnie. Ronnie with two zero and uh, seven ton eighties. What up, Katie? Hopefully, uh, hopefully, mom got picked up all right, or or maybe you're on your way up there. How we doing out there, though, Kay? I know she's getting ready for the uh, bachelorette party this weekend out in Cincinnati with uh. A lot of the uh, ladies from this area heading out that way as celebrating Aubrey's bachelorette party. So I'm sure you guys are getting ready for that and pretty excited. All right, Farm just looking to hold hold his start. Really started pretty well. There's gonna be All a right. lot of back and forth legs. Yeah. I think uh, the being being hot on the twenty tonight will really help. You know, you definitely aren't going to want to be giving up. Yeah. They both seem pretty uh, good so far on the twenties. My man sure. Sal checking in. What's up out there, Sal? How we doing? All right, Ronnie. Ronnie's here. Yep. 55 viewers checked in here within the first 15 minutes, so we appreciate y'all. That comes from uh, getting the shares out there and everything, so thanks for everyone to doing that. 
And uh, both these players, this is, uh, even though both these players are undefeated, the loser will not carry on. Once you reach the top eight in this grudge series, it becomes single elimination and it's win or go home. So as much fun as it's been for everybody here, it's uh, one of the players' will coming journey to ends. It's coming one of the to players' journey soon. ends tonight. And it's it's uh, the new school MDC look versus the old school MDC look as Farm Rock and the Classic, which he often does. Farm he likes does, the classic. Uh, he definitely yep. likes the classic. That's definitely Farm's go to. I seen him wear that. In yeah, Chicago and the Premier Series too. Yeah. He likes the one when he, well the FTS when he won the FTS championship. Norquist probably in here somewhere. You gotta respect the jersey. Yeah, it's all love. I think he's uh maybe uh. Flashing the OG card a little bit. I think he, he does. It, I think know? he does. He likes to. Uh, a new follower, welcome in, Alan Rude. Appreciate you checking us out. Okay, that's a good shot by Farm. Yeah, he, he likes to. Those, uh, he does those risky last art trickles, you know. Now Ronnie did say that he stopped and got to play with Brian Bowling for about an hour. I feel like that's a pretty good advantage. Uh, you know, Bowling. Uh, bowling's yeah. just so good at cricket, man. Playing against him so hard. So if you've been warming up with, with bowling for an hour, you're ready for this match to yeah. start at a, at a high pace, you know. For sure. Unless he's destroying you, you know, which yeah. he can do, yeah. man, right? He's, but that would just wake you, know, you up. Yeah, it would be like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, Scotty Deck, what up out Ronnie's there? Still, still not in a bad spot here. Normar, thanks for the like. Norman? He went for it. And he got shot. it. What a shot. This is a, they're gambling. Yeah, these legs are just, they're going to be back and forth a little bit like this. I don't yeah. They're going to know who's going to win until then. Look at Farm back at you. undisturbed as he continues Ooh. to swing. Ooh. Sal says all good here. Hopefully all is good, good there. Appreciate you, brother. Doing pretty good. I think I think the bathroom breaks ended on five, Dan. I think it was we were surprised to find out it was kind of low, but I think a little bit of dehydration from the weekend kept those numbers down. We did get all the way to the 13 inside on that one. That turned into a heck of an 01 set. Oh, maybe it was six. I think you're right, Andy. It was six. Katie, you right on with that. Get them likes and shares out there as we uh Cruising up to about the 60 viewer mark here in game two. No momentum really on any, either side. They're, they're going no. at it right now. Farm's still in a spot where he could hold. Ronnie with a little bit of a lead, but Farm having the darts, I still like his position, especially now. Small lead. Ronnie needs at least a four. I don't know if he looks if he hits a four. It seems like he will. The way the, the games went, yeah. it feels like they, they will. Yeah, because they, they doubt, especially uh, now, are first start. See? Feels like it. Is he, we'll find out. I feel like it. He went he did. for it. Zach, thanks for the like out there. He went for it. Farm, farm can really put together something right here at the end. He stayed on it. He didn't risk it, which is not a bad idea. I mean, he already had two marks on his number. You leave Ronnie single, single, single to close. So it, yeah, wasn't, it was a good good stay. It's been a battle of a game. What up, Steph? Thanks for the like out there. Ronnie Mac. So both of them kind of sputtering here yeah. at the finish line. And this is where it's going to matter. This is going to be the difference. That's a huge dart. Farm will definitely get a swing at it this time. It, maybe two. And he it. does. Yeah, great shot. And he's fighting pretty hard for just a hold here. So yeah. that says a lot for Ronnie playing good in the two hole. Still has a chance to make a move on the uh, on the uh, bullseyes. Ed, thanks for the light. Hey, hey, out uh, there, Steph. Farm's going to go right at the bowl. Try to get his first win up here. little sloppy yeah. there, but still early. Still Ooh. in good shape, too. I don't think he's in horrible shape. Ronnie's got to hit two double bulls at least with the, in this turn to, to really put some heat on that. Yeah. 
His darts aren't sticking very well today. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. So you expect Farm to kind of kind of close this out here. Yeah, there he goes with the double bull, and here he comes with the single. So nice. evens the score. Iceman, my guy, what up, brother? How we doing? Paula Clark, what it's up what out we there? expected pretty much, a hold from each player. It's probably probably Gary actually checking in on the action. Is Gary another one of our players in the, the top eight? He'll be awaiting the final top eight player, which will be uh, the winner out of uh, – Tom Keller and Paul Otto will be the uh, the final player to enter the top eight from the one-loss division. So all the other matches are set. We got one coming to you Saturday, Jason Topsky, Josh Sloan. And next week we're going to look to get uh, Meatball versus the Freight Train uh, in action as well. So got some real good, real good action coming for you guys. Two mediocre starts by by the players just now. Just a little four mark. Yeah, kind of waiting to get taken off. Chris Nor Chris Norquist in the house. What up, brother? The OG ref. How he does. Right. First big shot of this leg. It's actually kind of big. I mean, Farm can get that first uh, steal from the two. Sorry, guys. I'm working, a little. Where it can start getting ugly. My typing skills are just horrendous. Not bad there by farm. He's definitely trying to uh, get the break here. Ronnie staying tough with a four. No matter if farm breaks here, I, I still think that this is going to be a, a close match. 13 inch, I'm hoping. It's starting off that way, but you know how it gets sometimes. It you does know, get out of hand sometimes, but... Katie couldn't agree more. Josh worked on that all day today, and uh, I feel like uh, I feel like he killed it. I really like the new look. I like. Uh, I think it's clean, and it, it gives us uh, gives us more room. And with the new uh, the new um, highlight scene he's working on and stuff, it, it shows the uh, you'll be able to see when the when the highlights flash the whole the nine mark and stuff like that. So upgrades never stop. That's that's for sure. A little fine tuning. Yeah, just little stuff, you yeah. know. So, uh, uh, somebody's Looks working good. every day. It's uh, it's a couple hours. I mean, he was in and out all all day long. It, it seems like no matter what, somewhere here at the stream, somebody's doing something. So that's kind of what it takes, and uh, we just try to do the best we can as a team and uh, keep it coming. We'll keep it coming to you guys. Farm put himself in a real Speaking good of position. Speaking and keeping it coming right there, yeah. yeah. Toward the end of the leg, too. Don't give Ronnie much room to try to string something. He's together. getting that pep in his step too. Yeah, where he can't wait to get to the line. That's when you know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Farm can't wait to the, get to the line. He's lines. another one that plays with his hat a little bit. Like PJ, PJ, PJ plays with his hat kind of a lot when when he's shooting well. He'll tip. You notice Farm kind of does that too. Tips his cap right as he comes up. Loosely lays it on his head. Yeah. <laughs> Must work. I mean, both of them are good players. Yeah, for sure. Two of the guys that when they get hot over here, the two of the hardest to beat, man. When PJ's the same way, when PJ's rolling, man, his uh, he can, he can motor through some games where it's real hard to stop him. We've all seen that. Lee Lee says fireball. Farm gets it. So Farm gets it with the four point five over three one three, and takes a two to one lead. It's a pretty good leg by Farm. I mean, out the two hole. I yeah, mean, you don't. Ronnie's if you're, be if you're Ronnie, you don't want to see Farm get too hot when he gets that pep in his step. You gotta, you gotta slow him down. Throw a game right back at him. Slow him down. Let him know that you're here too. Definitely don't want want Farm to feel like he can break you two in a row. 
You got, you got a hold right here. Yeah, them two were a little high. Sound like Chris just got done with the float. Those are the best. I think I might go hit mine up tomorrow. So far, I'm getting uh, getting away with one there. Is uh, Ronnie only picks up two twenties, but only getting four. It really don't hurt too bad if Ronnie can uh, clean up right here. Four or six in that nineteen with your first two darts, close that twenty out. He's probably getting rid of it now. He does get the four. You needed four minimum there for sure. The good thing is farm ain't going to gouge you, though. You know what I mean? He's not a gouge player, so it's not really. But he is going to go right at, well, as I say that, he's tripped 20. Yeah, we moved uh, We had to, we moved the commentary because we're changing some stuff we're doing with the highlights screens. So we had to uh, had to make a couple changes. But if you notice, we're right there on the board with just the, the player icons. You got me and uh, Day Day in here with me today, so. Good round, Ronnie. Big round. Kim has found it, he said. So gonna try to try to pump out some entries a little bit today too. I'll pop those screens up for you. But I was thinking, you know what? We're on a special today and we'll do uh do four for five today, man. If uh you guys want to get some extra entries in, today be a good day for it. Four for five, Four man. Four for five. Get an extra entry on a, on a every on those fives today. So. Four for five. That's that's during the Grudge series here. Appreciate that's you guys. A big discount. Yeah. We started. It used to be one for five. We're all the way up to four on the specials now. It's always three. I try to do. Uh... Heather, thanks for the like out there. Big white horse. There goes farm with that. You know, that's kind of what you meant about not gouging, you know. He's a fast player, yep. Only up 20 points, kind of left opening for This Ronnie is the perfect game for him, man, the, the way lead. he plays. He's, he's at the line ready. Like, you uh, you could almost bet the house <laughs> this first starts trip 16. This guy, Jake, is ready. As the night goes on, you're definitely going to see, see a lot more there. The poll is up, so let's get your votes in, too. And there we go. Donation, too. Chris Swanson with a $50 donation. Appreciate you, brother. Swanee. Swanee getting it, taking advantage of them four for five today. So. My man. Yep. Last week's champ in an impressive display. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I got a couple messages about the no-look dart. The, the no-look <laughs> People were convinced. I was like, hey, you never know when they're coming. It just happens. It's not like you hey. walk up there thinking, I'm going to throw a no-look. All just... four or five of us in the living room went crazy. Like, it was no, it was so it. fun. It was uh, it, it's it's happened a few times on the stream. JJ's another one. JJ popped the a big one in the All-Star. Three, three. Oh, was it such a <laughs> crucial moment? Tied 3-3. Three, three. This guy wants to do a no-look. I couldn't believe it. And oh, then, man. It had, shocked me. Yeah. And control. Had control after that, played an excellent set, and uh, was just untouchable in the final. Yeah, both of them guys are, are, are top tier. What happened there? That was a State Farm win, so we got uh, three to one. Three games to one. Farm win. It was a real good leg by State Farm. White horse. Don't start pressing yet, right? Yeah, and I think he is a little bit. You he could is. see the dart release yeah. in the arm. It's just not as smooth as it was in game one. And if Farm could do that to you with the speed, the way he plays, you know what I mean? Just a, it's like it's the fight Farm has too. That come from behind always. Oh man, he's just he's just an opponent. It's just he doesn't go away. It tends, you know, it bothers you as as an opponent when you have control over a leg and you lose it hard to just keep clear-minded into the next match next match. especially when he doesn't stop and michael boone said wants to send a shout out to katie for the hat delivery today as she went up and saw him at work and dropped that off and he said he can't wait to wear it shooting on a grand board tonight so we appreciate you repping the club brother and uh good job on katie on getting that out there and anybody that's looking for the hats we do got uh extra we got lar the large extra large and we have the um XL double XL for the, anyone with a big old meat head like me, but um, yeah, let us know, man. You guys want some hats? There's still uh, still some available, so we did sell out of the smalls off the bat. We didn't really you, the pre-orders weren't 
everything wasn't pre-ordered, but maybe all the smalls are all taken care of so we can sell some of these larges. Looking like the farm's going to take another one. Yeah, he's just roping, man. When he gets in that, he gets in that rhythm, he gets dangerous. Ronnie got a string together some triples. There it is. One more. Come on, Ronnie. There yeah, it is. that's what he got. And those look better, too. His arm, everything about that stroke look better. There it is. I mean, Jake play a little bit. Jake's just... Uh, he, he knows his his own game so well. That's what I like about Jake is the way he he just uh, he plays within his game, no matter who he's playing. You know what I mean? If he's playing, he he he, he just plays his way, and I like it. Twenty five, Gannon. Be Jeezy on the look. Good job on that, brother. Appreciate you. So I'll get all everybody uh, updated and probably try to read them a little bit here on break. But most of you guys know what the the giveaways are. Four for five. I'll flash that screen up there when uh take a look for you guys that don't know what's on the list, but I think the target attraction this month is it's always the the custom jerseys, but the the dartboard is uh is about as custom as it gets. You get to pick your own design yeah. and have Heim throw it on the ring for you. Board, Brand ring. new blade five, yeah. everything shipped right to you. I would take the, the board even without it's the about three fifty about three the custom yeah. design, you know I mean, it's about three fifty we got into it after we pay the artist and, and and bought all the supplies and and we figure a little bit for shipping, so we valued it at about three hundred fifty dollars that's a good price, yep, yep, that's a real good price. The option to have anything you want on the ring, yep. Pretty uh, versatile, man. For and especially who wants. you see a lot of people streaming nowadays with the uh, on the you know steel tip matches. It's pretty popular, and there's your setups are online. So how cool is that? Have your you know one of a kind where you know if you are playing these zoom matches and stuff like that, your board at least is, is recognizable and and it's good for for uh, our guy too. He gets the exposure to other areas, and uh, I think uh, everybody wins. So yeah. Appreciate y'all. And that's all night long. Four four entries, five dollars. So every five dollars to get you four. Four five like during, James for a twenty. During the during the, uh yeah. <laughs> during the whole uh during the whole match tonight. Well, farm struggling a little at the end on the bulls, but he really don't seem in too much trouble. Bulls out here's the lead. Double's a pretty good lead. That's only a two point lead, so Farm's this is over. Said one and one, yeah. They have been a little soft on the finishing, both of them. They're a little soft on their pizza predicted time too, ain't they? Oh, they said an hour and at, at like seven oh three. Gonna have to take the uh, that twenty dollar tip back. <laughs> yeah, we might we might have to uh we might have to take take that down a little bit. We got a nine dollar tip in there. <laughs> About to get three fifty. They did say it's only one driver though. Come on, Ronnie. And then the problem is, is, is when those kind of rounds start hitting you, sometimes it's hard to shake. You know, you know, you haven't started good two games in a row now. The worst part for Ronnie, they're when they're when they're coming, they're falling high right now. I mean, every dart's a blocker. Josh says, "My bad. I rerouted the address to his house. He probably could." Stop. Man, watch you be laying on the porch out there. We didn't even see him. Is this some wet, cold pizza? So it looks like the uh, looks, looks like, like the guys are trying to pick up pick up Ronnie in the in the chat, saying, "Let's go, Ronnie. Get in there with some fight." We will say it, Ronnie has the most no one. Uh, No, we didn't do Jets today, Crystal said. Man, we had so much trouble with Jets. Double build and everything. We tried a new place today. It's called Rosie D's. It's out here right by the, the neighborhood. But uh, it's... Uh, Ooh, good round by Ronnie. You needed some. I will say their first impression here isn't the best, but hopefully the food's <laughs> really good. We 
can we confirm from Josh? Did he end up getting double bill for that Jets or no? I think they sent two pizzas, but there was only one. Well, it ended up being one bill. Jay Watt in the in the house. What up, my man? BDG. So Ronnie does take the lead with that last shot, little six mark. Yeah, Ronnie does. He is known for the the best comeback here at the club. Yeah. Uh, I would say he. I mean, if he can hold tough and get it to at least you know four two right here, you're, you're still not that bad. But five one is not. It feels like we're always talking about those exact things five, too, don't one, we? Always say like not. it does. What up, Jay Watt? How we doing, baby? Getting off to a little lopsided of a start here, but. Ronnie, like you like you said, if you can get get somehow nip this one and and keep it a two game gap, might be able to. Uh, Here's his opportunity. Grind his way back into this yeah. match. You gotta go straight at them sevens, right? Yeah, definitely. Need a pick me up on them seventeens. Oh, only finds two. Love it while I can, man. Live it while I can. We're living and loving. Hey, that's both of it. Go hand in hand. Farm a little aggressive going right at that 18. We know he's going to stay aggressive in this game. If if you're Ronnie, you, you want to use that to your advantage. If you could kind of trap him and yeah. take those aggressive shots and, and get him to miss one. Even right now, I mean, if Ronnie string together, he only need a single to close. String together a good round. The problem is when he's hot, he don't miss him. If you're always trying to trap him and he goes four for four in the game on a, on his on his gamble darts, I mean, there's not much you could do. But if you could get him to miss one, you could you could capitalize. Easier said than done. Way easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, everything's easy from the chair up here. You know what I mean? Like, it's all uh, find one, Ronnie. Only three. Both players a little little slow this leg. Yeah, it looks like he's lacking a little confidence. Maybe he's just got to maybe throw that big shot that makes him feel it, you know, feel uh, feel like he's in his match. Like he didn't right out the bat. He, he won game one, and he's oh, lost yeah. four on the trot. We've seen him come back. Ronnie's more than capable for uh, uh, at beating Farn, you know. Yeah, they've got a little bit of history here at the club. They've played a few times. When we ran the old freer tournament series, they played, uh, and they—I think they played in maybe the semis. Yeah, Farm's definitely not going to play Ronnie like a sucker. You know? No, he knows, but they, they actually they played together at the regional tournament, I believe. Oh, you yeah. Know, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I know they at least played triples trips, with, yeah. with Olivia. Yeah, yep. yeah. So I mean, they—they right. they both have belief in each other's game. I mean, that's one of the biggest events we have yep. in Michigan. That event pays like. Fifteen hundred bucks sometimes. With o on the squad, you gotta yeah. be thinking we're yeah. Yeah, we all you got oh You really feeling good? I wouldn't want to play that team. There, there's a good stroke. That looked like yep. the Ronnie stroke that we know all right three, there. Three farms, looking to take a five-one in a very good spot. Yeah, first start double, double, double. Yeah. So really in control of this opening set at five games to one. You hear Ronnie say, all right, I got to get my shit together. I know you guys probably can't hear him, but we can hear what they're talking about. And Ronnie knows even when it does get out of hand, you still got to fight, you know, grind. I think having that comeback under his belt is the best thing for Ronnie because he's never going to feel out of a match in this set, yeah, in this right. series. Because he was literally, Paul threw a couple of a match darts. He was able to dodge a bullet. He took big three-digit outs behind him. And, and when you've done that, you know, it's definitely going to help you in future matches, I feel like. I mean, down, down, down eight, four. After losing 9-1. Yeah. I think he lost 9-1 and he was down 8-4. That's just insane. Insane. Good shot by Ronnie. I mean, you're, you're Dustin, you're thanks. Down, thanks for the like out there, Dustin like Jewel. That. You've seen it go in, stay there. Gannon points out five on the spin here. Looks like Ronnie don't want him getting a six, though. Ronnie's, Ronnie's battling here. Yeah. 
Now, this will be an interesting decision. Is he going to, because of the way it's been going, is he going to go up and go points, or do you go 19? Yeah. All right. Still up. Looked a little 90. forced on that third dart, didn't it? A little, yeah. a little, little forced. But the first dart was perfect. The per first dart was a good stroke. Take the lead. No. Nope. So, uh... Ronnie See, with a very good opportunity. Start 19 here, though. You know, you got a 30-point lead. You only need two Please to close. Start 19, Ronnie. Yeah. Now you're, the bad part is you're Stay only going to get it close. Oh, trip 20 for sure. Good shot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Good shot. Pull up 50, force farm to hit a six just to take the point lead. Just keep staying tough, Ronnie. I mean, both, both of these guys are a little light on the finishing, so you just want to grind. Yeah, and farms he's patchy, you know what I mean? Like he's he has awesome hot purple patches, but he does play humans at times too, you know, where oh, he's yeah. you know, some of these last couple games have only been averaging around under just under a four, so it's those aren't really games where you wanna be falling behind and getting dominated in. If you get farm throwing under a four, you know, you definitely want to You gotta take that's when you gotta beat him because when he hits his stride, he's gonna be over a five. And he tends to throw high averages a lot, I feel like, just because that quick white horse shut down the board type of play yeah i agree with that that i was watching the old uh the all-star match i was doing some highlight reel stuff and uh just pinning some times and watching him in that match he played versus travis was just insane like it, that match had literally travis won the first game with like like a 6-1 and and farm shot really high as well and then the next three games were all like 5-7 five, 5-5 five, 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 and 6-2 or something and that's the kind of patches he hits when, when he get when he gets rocking. And, and if you're Ronnie, you want to try to keep him from getting that comfortable. They're he's, both even he's a little here, slow he's right here. now, even with the averages around, you know, if you, get, if you still give him that big tip, make sure you point out he took an hour and a half. <laughs> Just kidding, man. You ain't got to do him like that. <laughs> Daddy going to go check in on these subs real quick. So he's going to take a quick break and eat. He came right from uh, the kids' practices. So... Just me here for a minute with y'all, but I'll try to keep it up to speed. Then after he eats, I'll probably go out and let him just keep you guys up to speed and uh, down to one. It's not so bad with just one board, though. Needs a close here. Josh Sloan with the share out there. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate everything he does. And I do love the new look. Farm needing a triple here. So Ronnie holding pretty tough. If he can uh, close both these corners here, he'd be in real good shape. Oh, he's going to point first. Big triple. And another single. So David Booth Jr., welcome. New follower. So hopefully you enjoy what you see out there. Thanks for jumping in. Pappy, what up? Thanks for the light. And remember, it's not pinned anywhere, but we're running a special today. We get an extra entry on every $5, so there's four for five tonight. So get them in, people, if you want. We got only, uh, it's not a whole bunch of streams left for the rest of the month with uh, pretty busy around here at the MDC. With A lot of our guys will be at Jerry's wedding on the 22nd, and then we got a little bit of Grudge Series stuff going on. We're trying, uh, Trying to do a little uh, luck of the draw on the 29th for some of the guys that aren't able to make it down to Ghost on the Coast or Ohio Bull Shooter, but that'll be our finale and our giveaway. So great stuff, great stuff going out this month. Helps us out around here too, gets us a little more, a uh, little more revenue to work with and add to these tournaments, get some people in here. And Ronnie back in action there as he picks up uh, his second win of the evening and gets it to 5-2. So let's see if he can uh, let's see if he can find himself a break point here. He's going to need one uh, along the way. He's going to need a couple. It's not the easiest guy to break either here if I'm a <clears throat> really good starter. As you can see, that's about the third game he's done that shot. David says, seeing this makes me miss darts a lot. So, yeah, it'll do it. It makes me miss darts sitting up here in the chair, too. <laughs> Not going to lie. Lily says, come on, Ronnie, get that shit. 
Haim says, "Don't please don't leave us here with just day." <laughs> There's another white horse for uh, for uh, farm as uh, Ronnie yet to have his first light and farm shooting an 8.0. So break point not looking so good in this leg. Does find a triple here though, and another. So Ronnie will take the lead. David said he has a place at states last year, so that's almost a 12 month break. As states is kind of coming up again, isn't it? You know, I'm supposed to be clipping some of this stuff. Farm's over here throwing all these white horses. I ain't over here using the clip button. Need my reminders out there. Let's see if we can clip a hat trick with a big average on the end there. As 6.67 as he heads into the bullseye here. Throws his third dart at it and does get it. Oh, but he doesn't have the lead, so it's not the game yet. Look at Ronnie with the comeback kid here. Make an eight point game interesting. So 5.54 to a 4.75 as Jake takes a six game to two lead. Let's show you them giveaways up there for you guys uh, that haven't seen it. So we got a we got a couple of hats. We got uh we're gonna do two of the two of the jerseys. There's a fifty dollar gift card. Um, the custom board that we were talking about with the custom surround, and then we got one of our uh, one of our desk lamps that um, that have been pretty popular as well. So I think we got some great gifts, and uh, think uh, think somebody's going to be real happy that wins that what I deem is a grand prize with that that dartboard. I think that's going to be really cool in uh, somebody's basement or game room or wherever they decide to put it. Where, uh, what area are you in out there, David Booth Jr.? What leagues, uh, just out of curiosity to maybe help you find, uh, find a league coordinator, what, uh, what area are you living in these days? Andrew says March is states, and it'll be here before we know it. Ain't that the truth? Farm just continuing to march on with this barrage of triples here early in these games. So Farm has just really not been missing much these last couple of games. He's kind of found himself in uh, that zone we were talking about when he just kind of he gets in that he gets in that mode and he just starts closing the board fast and motoring around triple to triple and uh, it gets hard to stop when he's like that. But let's see if Ronnie can maybe start to slow him down on these 16s here. Only picks up four. I agree, Abe. His uh, his his stroke does look a little tight. A little tight. It was uh, first game. He came right out. He looked nice and loose. He took the first game with a pretty pretty big average, and then he lost about four or five in a row. And then uh, he found that last uh, whatever it was two games ago. But it doesn't look as loose as we've been, as we've been seeing him. He's been uh, Ronnie's had some really good performances here and. I think uh, the big win over Tom, the big win over his brother, and uh, and some uh, some other good play in the in the qualifiers and stuff. But those are his two most notable wins in the in the series. Where I, I think that uh, just going off the voting that day was kind of came in as an underdog, but was able to win both those sets. I agree. Yeah, that's exactly basically what I was what I was saying is. Looked a little smoother when in uh, previous performances, so maybe he'll kind of calm down a little bit here because you're 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 gonna want to get settled in as Farm just continues to race to the finish here, and uh, looks like Farm's already already thinking about 01. Candy, appreciate you through through said donated through PayPal, so I was gonna. 
going to check those and read those off a little bit during the break, get everybody caught up. So everybody who's getting in on that tonight is getting four for five. So we do appreciate you guys for that. And we got another win for State Farm there as he's going to jump to a seven game to two lead. James, what's up, my guy out there? He says, oh, there, that's the Ronnie stroke. That looked real good right there. That's exactly how he started that first game. Happy to be back home. Glad that, glad you got home safely, and uh, hopefully you got to enjoy your trip. I don't know uh, if there was damage where you were at down there. Ooh, look at that. Nine mark for, nine mark for State Farm. How's that food, day? Eh? Nice. Yeah, they probably just got done. I'm going to switch out with Day-Day here. I'm going to take a break and eat and let, uh, bring you in with some uh, mediocre commentary here. I like it. Always taking shots. Farm with a 7-2 lead. Just getting back to it. Mediocre commentary. I like it. This is what I got to deal with, fellas. Yeah, farms at the line. Look, look how fast farms at the line. Oh my! It's almost like when you're Ronnie, you gotta feel this guy just on you. Oh, Josh and Katie like that. You guys like that, huh? It was all right. Man, the way Farm plays too, he's he's such a momentum builder. Like he just he snatches momentum so fast. Can't throw three marks. Farm went bowl last start. The food was good though. By by the way, if anybody was wondering. Steak and cheese sub. All right. I like that. If you're Ronnie, that's what you got to do, man. Even though you could be down and out this set, you have a whole nother set. Still want to stay in form, throw good shots. <laughs> uh, I agree, Josh. S slow that boy down. Start taking your time. Farm breathing on you. This boy's relentless. I appreciate that, Hein. I I thought I was a better, a little better than mediocre, but I guess boss man says otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, farm is still just carrying. He's just throwing. Double H, what up, what up? Good shooting last night. Still tip against them fellas last night. Good finish by farm. Yeah, like I said, man, even if you're down big, Ronnie, but stay in form. Cause that double that old one, that's any man's game. Thanks, Howard. Good shooting too. It was a fun night. You guys rallied on us at the end. It's always fun playing you guys. Hearing a couple stories from uh, Jerry's uh, party weekend, it was it was fun. It was a good time. That's what I'm saying, Steph. These guys farm with another white horse. Another right one. That's I don't know how many that is, but that's a lot. That's exactly what you want to see from Ronnie. That's what I want to see. 
come back with a six. Oh yeah, good call. I might have missed that clip, I ain't gonna lie. Think I missed that one. Maybe maybe the mediocre comment was right. I I missed that one. <laughs> come on, Ronnie Mac. Ah does it doesn't find a triple but does take the lead. Force check the point first. Three white horses. Yes. Jake likes going that route. He's not much of a pointer. We should almost have a white horse counter for Jake today. Way to have my back, Steph. This guy was probably uh, talking too much to, to, to catch any of the white horses, any of the clips. I agree, Andrew. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of uh, Jake right now. This guy just is at the line fast. He's throwing fast. The match is fast. It's over fast. There it is, Ronnie. I like that. I like that. Tell this fool you do that too, Ronnie. It's in the arsenal. You just didn't pull it out yet. Still a good shot by Ronnie. You got a short fight. That's the set right there. That's the set. It was a good match to finish it off. I mean. Ronnie definitely didn't didn't lay down that last last leg. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Andrew, especially when Farm's playing. That guy just refuses to go points. He 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 likes the white horse route. Yeah, these boys were throwing smoke. They're probably going to take a quick break. I don't think either one smokes. I don't know how long the break will be. Try to get them back down fast. Be right back.
All right, guys. Uh, let me see. Am I back here? Yo. Okay, I'm I'm back. There it is. Just making sure uh, we're good. So I went out and finished up my food there. Actually listened on my phone. I apologize for saying mediocre commentary about my buddy. He was bringing the real. I just like to keep everyone motivated around here. That's what we do. We gave Ronnie a pretty good speech, too. He's feeling pretty good going down for the 01. Says he's going to try to capitalize on the uh, <coughs> capitalize on the, the math skills of, Jake, of State Farm. He says... Uh, Says he think he could get an extra dart a game just because he's uh, a little bit better on his math. So, Ronnie's pretty. Uh, Ronnie's a trip twenty guy in my opinion too. Man. Yeah, well, and he does know how to split him. He's gonna definitely shoot the right way. Split bowl. I mean, farm his outs in in hot bowl a lot better. You know, I think the the split bowl format probably changes up for a few guys that don't play a ton of steel, but slightly favors Ronnie. Maybe I would say a little bit, just maybe math wise. Yeah, farm farm's not that bad though like farm knows so we got uh, about 40 viewers here that hung around during the break so appreciate you guys for that i know our break was a sometimes a little longer but the players do play a lot of games we like to give them a few minutes and uh plus our food was so late today so did get a couple of cash apps coming in there, so thank you, Carrie. Carrie Wags and Andy Mills coming in, and then uh, let me see. We got a couple of PayPal's as well, so and everybody is getting those that extra entry today. So we are doing four for five all day long today. Looks like we got some pretty good ones on the PayPal here, as we got uh, Candy with the fifty dollar donation, twenty five from Brian Gannon, forty from Kim Wallace. So thank you all for that. Chris Swanson also with a 50 in there. So get all you guys down with those extra uh, those extra entries and uh, good luck in the uh, good luck in the uh, drawing. Don't forget, if you haven't guessed your uh, ton 80 guesses today, if uh, you've already got your winner pick, but you haven't put your ton 80 guess, try to get that out there. And how many you think we'll see tonight? I think if I was guessing today, we we sit we only saw three the other day. We had a bunch of 140s, but I, I think today I, I, I'm I'm feeling like we're if I was putting all over under, I would put it at like six and a half. But that's just me. I'm just guessing. Sometimes they switch, you know. Sometimes a trip twenty, trip twenty might need a trip eighteen for a setup shot or something like that. But we have seen uh i believe kevin and uh and benny had 12 that is the record and doubling in does it does take one shot away from it where you can't obviously you can't do it in the first round i'm going to reset that scoreboard for you guys well uh i sit here uh talking about that get this scoreboard back to zero zero update that click over here Let's get that ton 80 box up there and let's see if these guys are ready to start scoring. Yep. Gotcha, Josh. Katie went with 12. I like the way you think. Uh, sorry, John. You're right. I did slack on that. I like the way you're thinking there, Katie. 12 buck 80s would be uh, mean for a heck of a battle. Can I make a prediction? Of course. I put the over under at six and a half. At six and a oh, half, I over, under, yeah. over under at six and a half. What, what do you think about that? I'm gonna go with the over. You take the over. I, li yeah. I like the over. I was thinking seven. That's why I made it six and a half. But um, nothing for that. Farm's got to be mad. Oh, and it didn't give him anything. Yeah, that 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 was a, that's a tough one there for sure. So what we got here? They both got in pretty easy. Yeah, I think uh. I think it was third dart, Ronnie, and uh, second dart for, for Jake. Chucky's going with eight out there. So, what up, Chucky Lawrence? How are I you like doing, eight. brother? I like eight. It's a safe bet. Even if I don't see one until the third, 
leg, I still expect they eight. still they still start popping. Yeah, yeah that, that's what happens sometimes. They, oh, yeah. they come in slow, and then all of a sudden it's three in two games, and this could be a potential for one. I, it would leave them a little funny, though. Come on, Ronnie from the two-hole. String it together, Ronnie. Andy and John both like nine. I'm like, nice 140. That's that's so clutch. You know, leave yourself th that's such a good out. Now, Jake needs at least a, a 140 here. 120, I don't think is good enough. Yeah, Ron's got to be feeling good here, averaging uh, almost 33 points of dart with six. six. He's got at least six darts from 107, so should be able to clean this up and take the first leg in this set as well. Even if he doesn't, yeah, set yourself up, take it out, or set it up. Norquist lowballing a little bit with only going with four. Rocky says seven. All right, Jake, set yourself up just in case there's a hiccup. Six 180s, and Ron takes the set from his brother Paul. Farm's going to win, but I think we only see four 180s, so... I like Paulie's prediction. I can see that. I could see Ronnie taking this set because of the, the you know, the mathematics and, and the fact that Ronnie loves the 20. There's no, uh, you know, you're not really out of an 0-1 game. You know, where, where cricket, yeah. you could just fall behind because he's throwing white horse seven mark and you really just don't get a chance to come back. But 0-1, you might have to take a bigger out, but you're, you're not really out of it. Yeah, especially with the double in. You know, the guy in front of you can waste two darts getting in and, and that – pretty much alternate alternates the start in, in a way if you get in first start so you're always in it and there's good energy between them down there like it's definitely they came upstairs together you know they're 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 definitely uh rooting each other on per se they're not there's no really grudge in this grudge series yeah yet. no i think they both want to throw yeah. good yeah they just they want each other to throw well yep a lot of guys just you know like to look forward to the match is the red light on overhead See it on the floor there? Slow. I, I don't know. Is Farm did? Farm said one? Is that what you're insinuating? I, I think he might have. Uh, but Josh don't forget shit. Yeah, so he? I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna only go with I'm gonna go with the under. I'm gonna go with two one eighties. Two one eighties. Yeah, I think you're right, Sloan. He did us dirty. You know, double double does change it because of the fact that the way you know it, it takes at least one round away where you can't go for it. But it's you still expect when they when they get rolling the to see a couple. Josh, Josh is going with one. <laughs> you know what, Sloan? I'll be surprised if they if they get throw one. How about that? We have yet to see a, a, a zero list. Which names you talking about, uh, Mark? The scoreboard? Maybe two of them <laughs> bowling went with the zero. <laughs> hey, bowling's got some insight. He warmed up with Ronnie today, so. I like the support from, from the fellas. Yeah. Bowling going with zero. I like it. <laughs> See how they try to do us, Brian? One Negative 180. <laughs> <laughs> Negative one. Oh my. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Uh, I got to put that back, so I apologize for that. Oh, one good. One the back to back seven. call, but one, three, thought, we, thought we'd have a little fun with that. All right, this is a crucial moment of this match, though. All bullshit aside. Trip 20, right? Double 18 for the win. Come Double on, nine. Oh, Ronnie Mack. Now, this is exactly the out he took to stay alive against his brother, too. I think it was 122. I really do. When I think Paulie had missed a dart, a third dart at a 32. Not today. It's not going to happen here today. 60. All right, farm still got to split it up, but it's looking good. Josh, did you go back to work today? I know he had the day off yesterday. So farm uh, struggling with the doubles a little bit. 
if you're Ronnie, I mean, take a 2-0 lead on farm right now. You have to hit this. Yeah, why did he go 20 on it? I, I don't know. 54 here, yeah. Huge steal if he gets this. Oh, and he does. Matt. Let's go. Oh, Josh did. He said stay at home tonight, so another day off. I agree, Abe. Abe agrees with, uh, and I agree as well. 18 on 122. I'm sure the day day agrees up here in the booth as well. Yeah, he surprised me with that one. Especially after we're up here gassing him up about knowing all his math. Yeah. That's like one of the first ones you learn, too. 122, 18 on 122. That's uh. So, Brian, looking for a handful of 123s coming our way, though. So far, I'm uh, a little scattered with that round. You don't really see too much of that. It was like a... Don't get loose on us, honey. There it is. Another one. Finding his cover number there. Ricky Lennart checking in. What's up, Rook? Farm put, a, put together a couple good rounds. He, he needs to play. What, what's dangerous with Farm, if you're Ronnie, is when he starts finding the first dart triple 20. That's when he gets real dangerous. When his first starts off, he's fast rhythm shooter. He might not, might not. He does cover, but I, he's way more dangerous when his first starts going in, as is all, most players, I, in my opinion. Like as an opponent, you're never back there. When the first start goes in for your, the guy on the line, oh, it, it always feels like he's gonna hit nine. Timmy Sheehan, what's up, brother? Checking in. Cringe. First thing you think is, of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And it's like the exact opposite when the first dart don't go in. You feel relief, yeah. you know. You feel like it's not going to happen. Ronnie looking to set himself up. Get first look. Looking like he's going to do just that. First 180. And it is. We do get a 180. So off the schneid. And they both seem a little relieved. Yeah, as you hear the... Uh, as you hear the excitement coming from the basement, and Ronnie will have at least three darts at 52. Very good spot. He's actually got six darts now, so a chance to go up. Three. Should end up, should not up three, not, three to nothing here. He just took this out last game, didn't he? Yep, he did. Two darts. Oh, he does it again. Uses Ooh. that that unpainted 16 as his marker. Stop. Uses that discolored 16. <laughs> So three games to nothing. And Farm realizing. I don't know what that little pop up is. Farm realizing it's time to, to get rocking. If you don't want to play a third set, you better get this rolling here, buddy. Okay, that's enough, Ronnie. And he's going to start with six. 160, I mean. So shot at the nine darter and the bonus money. Oh, are they both going to have it? Oh, is he going double-double? Somebody tell him you only got a double in once. <laughs> I think he was. I think he just kind of caught the flight. Ooh, Ooh perfect four. <laughs> Ooh. Paul Otto says it's a must-win for Farm this game. I agree. I yeah. think... Uh, I think it's showing in his intensity here, and I think Ron knows that too, and that's why he's going to want to come right back at him with the second ton 80 of the match. Ooh, only picks up 140, but he'll be happy with that. Yeah, you got to be happy with that. Right on him, potentially leave Farm scoring, though, there, you see that first start's a lot more accurate now. These last couple of rounds, it's been... Uh, actually, 140 does leave it out here. 140 or 180 is good for Ron. He knows it. 100, no good. Get one, Ronnie. 140 leaves you the big uh, 160, so he does get uh, – oh. he could go out the same way Farm came in. Wouldn't that be a nice way to steal a leg? Farm could leave this on double eight as well. And it looks like he wants to. Oh. 
Tanner, what up, brother? Thanks for the like out there, my man. If you're farm, man, you, you have to take this out if Ronnie doesn't. Scotty Edwards, what's happening? Thanks for the like out there. Anyway, anybody new just Must getting win. in tonight, we do got some bonus entries available. So entries are all four for five dollars all night long tonight. Into the into the uh end of the month raffle. So every five you spend will get you four dollars or four entries. Angela Mills, thanks for the like out there. Alyssa Tyson, thank you. Opportunity for Ronnie to go up 4 0. Thanks for the share, Angela. 32. Yeah, Ronnie is finishing well on that 32, and he continues that streak as he is Another four one. games to nothing here. Another one. Farm looking uh like he, he realizes here, like, I mean, he started that game 160 and didn't win that. Going first. Going first. Eric Bowers, what's up, my man? Thanks for the like. Big darts is definitely the word, Paulie. That's a steal. Ronnie right in again. I was going to say that 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 Darza might be the first time he's missed double 16 yeah. in the match in or out. And they're looking good. They're on form. Yeah, he no, he's throwing good. Really farm farm's looking better these last two legs here. Farm's definitely looking dialed in. Uh, there, there's another ton 80, so we got number 2. Number 2. I turned it down. We don't hear it only they hear it. Yep. We were hearing it through that. Krista Swartwood, what's up, girl? Ronnie. How we doing out there? Right back at him, Ronnie. Hi, Danny and Jade, if you guys are listed tonight. And then you see ton 80 number three. So just like Day Day predicted, when you see in game three or four, as they start to pick up and uh, they'll start to flow. So that's uh, what we expect. Definitely what we expect. We're a little spoiled around here. Some of the players have been putting on some pretty good performances, but... This is, this is why we do it. Nothing better. That's what it's all about, yeah. Appreciate y'all staying hanging out around 70 viewers. Got quite a few shares today, so some people getting in on the last-minute raffle and the extra bonuses, so we appreciate that, too. That All that helps us out around here and helps us with the future planning and events and everything else we're trying to work on, so on, thanks to everybody participating in that. You need, you need a triple, but set yourself up. Don't think about it too much. Trip 20. There he gets it. it. 50s don't walk in the park, especially when you're down 4-0. You could get a little tight on the double. If you're Ronnie here, pressure the, pressure this shot. I don't. Yeah, he's looking to do it. Yeah, I, I think he'll get off the 20 here, though. 51's a better shot here. Yeah, he does. Oh, yep. my. I, I don't Ronnie is looking really well. Yeah, he really is. Shot too. Farm, you still, you know, you know it's a 50, so... You do 50s. And uh, Farm loves that. Uh, he loves that 32. Yeah. Come on, Farm. 50s. Yeah. He gets it. They're in the playbook. And Ron it holds Ronnie off as Ronnie was shooting a 40 that game. So that's a good good win by Farm to get in the set. And we've seen people down 4-0 before, but with 0-1, when you're playing equally matched, it's really hard to come back from three breaks. Because, you know, going really first. Hard. As long as Ronnie continues to get in and and, and score decently, he should uh, he yeah. should give himself a real good chance to win this set. Still, definitely just want to at least hold at this point. He's looking well, gets right in again, pretty easily. Thank you, Alyssa Tyson, and she jumps in with a twenty-five dollar donation on the bonus entry. So we'll get uh get everybody updated at the. Oh, there's another one five two. So good shot by that, but. Appreciate you on the donation there. Yep, both both these guys with a ton in. They're looking pretty uh pretty good right Look now. Look at this. Look at this. So far, a hundred points with Ty. He's gonna look to want to probably get the lead here. Yep. Still not bad. Still not bad. 
Just gotta string it together next round to set yourself up. Cause Ronnie's definitely looking to set himself up. His trip 20 was I agree. Good. I agree, Abe. You said the smart dart by Ronnie, and I, I think that was back referring to that 171 instead of staying on the 180 and leaving it on the number he was four yeah. for four on. And I mean, why would you not leave a number? You're, you're four for four on finishes. Go ahead and leave it. You don't need yeah. the ton 80 count that bad. No. He doesn't know Day Day picked one. <laughs> <laughs> Bully picked zero. <laughs> I love it. Back to that 52. Look at him, darts. man. Look at him. Oh, he does miss it, but he's still got three darts yeah, at it. And he looks good. He's throwing confident. Yeah, and oh, he looks really good. You, you you should feel pretty confident in a 4 1 lead in the 0 1 set. I think it's a much harder to catch up in the in the 0 1 than it is the cricket. That's a dangerous number though. If you're uh if you're Ronnie here, you don't want Farm to get a look at that 122. Even though he probably won't go double go 18 first. But we'll never know, because Ronnie takes out that teener. Good shot by Ronnie. Ronnie's showing no struggling on in, out, scoring. I mean, he's he's. Sometimes I wish these sets were just all a one. It's it's more fun to watch, isn't it? I, yeah, I think. May, it might just be me. I love I love a one. If you're Jake here, you you, you win this. Jake's not playing bad either. No, know? he's not. He's in the 30s every game he's lost, and he's came in. This would be his third perfect in. That's his third perfect in I've seen. And it's not like we're playing hot bull, you know, yeah. perfect in with, with with double bull bull. That's a little easier. He's He's got a 160 and two 152s. Mm -hmm. and, and I think he lost all of them. Well, he had to lose most of them because he's down five to one. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll turn that up a little bit for you there. Uh, with your left mic. No, it's, maybe Yo. he was just he was leaning back a little in the chair. Plus, I talk so loud, I probably I'm overpowering everything. Oh, two rounds. Ronnie doesn't get in in a row. Hey, I was reading Abe's comment when I said the, <laughs> the double eight. I look at the corner of my eye and you're giggling. <laughs> I don't I know, know what's going on over there. <laughs> so, Ronnie, getting, getting it out right here in this game, though, you're all right to have a, a cricket average in one game. Yeah, Jake started this. You start Jeremy next. Russell, what's up, my man? Chance uh, got some extra entries in there if you want to take a stab Good at that, that bullseye jersey tonight. It's four for five tonight. Four for five if you're just checking in. All right. Jake. See if you're riding, you just want to, this one's no big deal. You know, I, I just hope, uh, hope this game doesn't affect him for a couple of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it looks. And I don't think it will. He I don't. I just get worried when the guys. Sometimes it looks like they're like they're a little frustrated. But it's probably just in the one game, not the yeah. set. I, I really feel like it should be really, really hard for Jake to come back and win this set. If I'm being real honest, I mean, down five to two, I, whoever you're playing it with, these guys are close enough to equal where it's three breaks. Potentially, what Ronnie needs two holds. I would say at very best, Jake, Jake could hold for would be to get it to the 13 inside. I think, it, like, as far as what, from a from a at standpoint, this point, you'd yeah, be happy. To take That's that. what I mean. Yeah. You're not going to come back and keep him from at no. least getting to eight. You know, I mean, you got to think he's he's getting eight. Ronnie's Ronnie's showed really good trip 20. He's doubling well. Ronnie looks really informed on this old ones. Yeah, uh, Ron looks forward to the old one set. He he wins a lot of old one games here, and uh, even when we do the other events with the hot bowl, Ronnie's. A, He's a good player in 01. He's a good cricket player also, but his outs are, uh, when he gets rolling, he could take a lot of outs. Uh, he didn't get into the third, but. I think so, Jeremy. Let me check that out. He is starting the leg. Yes, sir. We did get you there, so we'll get you in. That'll, be, that'll get you eight entries tonight, so. Up over 70 viewers, so we appreciate everybody who's been out there sharing the stream and helping us get it out there today, so. 
so far seen some good quality play from a couple of good buddies here a couple of our good buddies as well and uh ronnie back in action here as he picks up a buck 25 there like to see that yeah holding his start standing strong so far 180 will leave him an out 164 but hey we were talking about it the other day i don't know what the highest out during the grudge series is i think it was me and katie maybe we're talking about it or i don't i don't remember but uh yeah we'd have to go through a lot of footage to figure that out i think huh i, I was i didn't kev take out a 160 i'm not sure i think kev took out a 160 trip 20 trip 20 double 20. somebody missed something easy and he took out we know for sure Josh has that 146 or yeah, 142. 156 from Paul Otto. Did it, I think you're right. Paul, he did a one. He wrote it. He just wrote oh, it in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that's right. I, I I don't know if Ray Train's out there, but if he is, uh, can you verify? Did he, didn't he have a 160 out against uh, maybe against Ben? I feel like something crazy got missed and Kev just walked up and snapped it. But I don't remember if it was Grudge Series or not, but I feel like it was. Uh oh. Whoa. I like that by far. Give yourself a good chance at the first look. Not just first look, but you gave yourself a good chance. Come on, Ronnie. Ronnie putting pressure on it? Not so much. If you're Jake, you know you got another shot at it. Look at this broken ass chair. Third dart, a little low, no damage done. If you're Ronnie, you still want to stay composed just in case he has a little. Josh says he'll oopsie uh, on that out. He'll have all the re research done, and eventually, after he goes through about 500 clips, he'll he'll know. I, I'm gonna go with Kev with a 160, um, but could be higher. Good dart by far. So right now, if you're Ronnie, what are you thinking? Are you worried or are you not worried at all? Are you, are you like, man, I'm throwing great. I got a two-game lead. Or are you like, here comes this guy again, dude, that never goes away. Honestly, if I'm Ronnie right now, I'm thinking you're starting. Win this leg no matter what Jake does. Yeah. Really, 01, it doesn't matter what he does. That's what's great about the game of 01. It's yeah. like it really doesn't matter what his shot is. Yeah, he it's, can't stop you from throwing what you're you You're honestly just playing the board. You're just playing your your own score. You just got to be faster than the other guy plays his score. This guy with another perfect in, oh, no, misses it. Travis, we have a we have, oh he doesn't have audio though. Um, maybe somebody if wants to type that in for Travis, but it's the tiebreaker set is combination race to four. I'm a terrible typer. Anybody that's worked in the booth with me here can verify that. Oh, somebody will tell him. Travis was just asking what the tiebreaker is. Somebody at the bar will probably tell him. Josh already told him. Chuck Fry says, "Come on, Ronnie, we get it together." Come he on, just Ronnie, looks like man. his confidence has come down just a little bit. And I think he's one of the most rooted four guys at the club here, too. Like, I feel like people like this. They know that Ronnie's a hard worker on the bo on the practice board, and I think people like to see that pay off. Yeah, the thing with Ronnie is doesn't matter, you know, how bad you catch him. Ronnie's capable of beating everybody. Yeah, I agree. Cody Cottrell, what's up, my man? Appreciate the like out there. Look at that. Yep. I like it. Almost gave itself first look. Still a big shot. Tad last. Teddy out there. What's up? How we doing? Remember that one time, my man? All right. If you're, if yep. you're Ronnie, you got to be thinking, farm's getting the first, but I got to give myself the he, best he, look. You got to get, you got to hit it. You got to string it together. Yep. He's got to throw that stroke. He's been he's been one doing triple. so well. There it is. Yeah, there it is. That is exactly the dart he give needed. Give yourself something to work with. One forty is no. If you're farming, apart. you want to snatch the heart out his chest. You do it right here. Oh, though. this would be crucial. Trip twenty to leave tops. So eighty left. 
What's uh, this? Like I'd call this a shot? key moment in the match. 18 shot. 18, yeah, 18 shot. 18 shot, yeah. Well, you could you could go 20 because 2020 will leave double bowl. The birthday boy in the house. Happy birthday out there, Brandon Nolan. Thanks for the like. Happy birthday, Brandon. Jeremy, I got uh, it's Day Day's in here with me today. You can see we moved the commentator things up onto the board there. Got my my main man Day Day in the booth with me today. So again, another leg that just gets shaky at the end. A little shaky. Yeah, that Ronnie, was that was real shaky. Time. Farm messed it. Up. This is your time, Ronnie. That was Michael J. Fox shaky right there. Stop. Ronnie. Oh, bam, that wasn't though. This guy is not struggling on his house. So I'll tell you that. Gets a little shaky getting getting down there, but I that was a big win for him. That that in my opinion, that should have won you this set. You gotta hold on at six three. I mean it's easier said than done, good but win. It's, you gotta feel good. Yeah, now. hell yeah. yeah. You give that it's game good. away and it's five four and all of a sudden here's Farm, the guy who never goes away, back again. You gotta feel real good right now. Out the two hole, doesn't get in. Susie Q in there, how you doing? How you gonna dog Marty McFly? I wasn't, I was, that's all I could think of. Ronnie comes right in, no hesitation. I thought it was Calvin. I thought his name was Calvin in that movie. Just what you needed by farm. Yeah, if you're, you're Ronnie, hold that lead though. See, look at that stroke, man. It just looks good again. It's, it's, he took that one or two games where he looked, he got a little loose, and now he's back stroking that 20 and looking like a guy with a 6 3 lead that wants to play the tiebreaker. He's looking like a guy that wants to win this set, that's for sure. He still has some work to do with a guy like farm on you, though. You gotta send him that flyer, Josh. That flyer is great. <laughs> Birthday card quality. Come on, another one. Yeah, that's a good one. Said Calvin Klein or Clint Eastwood, whichever one you're watching. Uh, it, it's amazing to me that all the Back to the Future dates are, uh, have officially passed now. As long as they used to sound so far away, there's none of them that are any in the future anymore. I think the last one passed in like 2017. Ronnie looking at the one five four. Really just needs to set it up. Let's see what farm does from two three one here. Hundred is not the hardest, but it's definitely not the easiest. So. It's one of those that it's like I just feel like guys who hit the first art trip 20 get it. I feel like if you miss that first art trip 20, it becomes really hard. It, you know, yeah, you, now you're top. thinking, is it 60 double 10? Is it double tops, double tops? Yeah. You know. If you farm, uh, you just want to get to an out right now. Yeah. He needs Hopefully. a big, he needs a triple right here to lead 150. So Ronnie's got six darts from 100. Which uh, he's got to be feeling real, real good about that toe on the line. He's going double, double. Nope. Just keep it up away from the triple. Yeah, a little closer to the triple than you probably want it, but he'll take it. If you're farming, you want to make him sweat it, though. You want to throw something big here. If Ronnie gets this, it's going to be hard to come back from. Good, good last dart triple. I just don't see how Farm could steal this set, if he, especially if he takes this. He does. Yeah. So seven games to three, and don't look now, but we're getting real close to uh, potentially having this tiebreaker set, and it looks like all the momentum has kind of shifted here in this second set. It's going to be interesting with the mix cricket in 0-1 and on. Especially considering Farm has came in three times perfect. You know, he's got three or four games where he's came in double, triple, triple. His scoring hasn't been bad. Not bad at all. There's his, uh, yeah, another, and he's done that entry. He's done 112 on the yeah, other, other ones, you know. So it's like, appreciate everybody hanging out as we're closing in on the 75 viewer mark.
Ronnie Mack. Paul, he Whoa. says, unless he gets to that dreaded eight to four mark, then you never know. Oh, my. that eight to four has has put some uh, scary. Should we even talk about that when it's coming to this point of the stream? Yeah, it numbers? is. I think that's why. I think that's why <laughs> Paulie pointed it out. Oh my! That would be incredible. Farms looking to get the four, the fourth win right here. Up a hundred, towing the line in the one hole. In real good shape to win this. Real leg. good shape, yeah. yeah. Especially with the first art triple twenty and a second. One twenty one. I was just getting ready to ring them up. I thought that was gonna be one the the one eighty there, but he'll take it, I'm sure, as he has a two hundred point lead. Still no out though. There it is. Grind a little, Ronnie. So what's he do here? If he hits the trip trip. All right. Ton out. So if you're Ronnie, you could get back in this. 108's no walking apart. One oh, big huge. shot. Is he gonna is he gonna do it? One more. Trip fifteen, trip twenty. Oh, oh it leaves him on an out though. One sixty will go. Yeah. Andy says, Polly, don't you dare jinx your brother. <laughs> I mean, if, if Ronnie could take this 160, then it's it's definitely it's his night to win the old he one takes set. This, yeah. I want to see. Even it. if he gets a dart at the double, I feel like. Ah, uh, Ronnie. You know we wanted to see it. A little loose of a round there, but. He's probably expecting Jake's going to take this yeah, pretty easily. Yeah, 12.32. Jake's pretty uh, mm -hmm. pretty accurate when it comes to that double 16. Double 8 is not going to do it. No, 1.34 is... I guess it's just trip 20, trip 20, double 7, really. So he's back on his tail, but the double eight here shouldn't be much of a problem for Farm. Unless he gets a little unlucky and busts somehow, but he does not. And he gets it to 7-4. Ronnie will have a start to get to the hill. This is one you don't want Farm to gain no momentum. Just you can this. almost see in Farm's energy back there too. He knows that it's he knows what time it is, and, and this is where he's dangerous. I think Ronnie's still in great position to win this set, but this is where Farm can it's get not dangerous. guaranteed yet. Yeah, if, if if Ronnie gets it all a little tight, if he gets if he gets wrapped up in in the moment, and le and lets uh, Farm just get loose, that it could be dangerous. But I just I just don't think that Ronnie won't be able to finish here. That's uh, the fourth perfect start we've seen from him. However, he's lost about half those games, hasn't he? Probably over half. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've seen three of them when he only had one win. Oh, I hear the jam on down there. That's that's my shit now. What is that? That's the, that lo the low life. Farm. Farm's there. He's speaking to him. Yeah, he's ready to turn up. Come on, Ronnie. Yeah, it, it's... Maybe he just don't want it to be 8-4. <laughs> he's like, you know what? I'm going to skip it. We'll take 7-5. <laughs> so another ton. And this is what you're afraid of. You just don't want to allow Jake to find a, a, a patch right when he needs it the most. And, and that's a good dart by Ron to maybe slow him down a bit. Let's see if he can find another. He does. Good shot by Ronnie. However, with Jake already on and out. 57 for 32. Trip 18 here, probably. Yep. So 52, which we've seen taken out a few times already in this set. However, 
by his opponent. Ronnie looking to set himself up also. Looks pressure like pressure that shot. Looks like Steve is getting in on the bonus action. And uh, let's see what we got here. Solid 81. Farm. Don't think, don't think too much. Thank you, Steve. That'll uh, get you 24 entries tonight. So appreciate the $30 donation. And we see Farm pull within two games here. Like we, we said, though, he ain't going to be able to stop riding without letting him get to eight. The best you're going to do is end up on the 13 here. There's no way you're breaking him all the way out. Ron's just got to relax and do what he's been doing. But Farm is going to continue to come pressuring him. It's always been kind of like the, what, what Farm does here at the club, uh -oh. his, his knack, if you will. Starting like, to feel like maybe. He's pressing? Just maybe. Just stay, stay with it. That's what he needs right there. That was a good stroke. Farm's got his pace going, though, don't he? Oh, yeah. I see him at that line. He's usually on the line early when he's playing well. He likes to do just what he did, kind of look down at the ground. He doesn't really look at the board until it's clear. And Already did the hat thing on the way up. Yep. <laughs> and he is well in shape of getting within one game here. Yeah, his chances are looking pretty well to have first look at the owl at least. Rob King says, give me a 20 on the raffle, so... Could do that for you. I'll see him tomorrow, so we'll put you in for that. 20 gets you 16 tonight. It's a good night to buy. It's actually the most we've ever gave away on a five, for $5 is four. We, we usually max it at three. It's usually two, and three is the bonus. But we thought tonight we'd bump it up a little bit. We, we kind of put the stream out there a little more. Got a feels like a few extra viewers in tonight as we hang out around 70. I feel like a, a lot yeah. of times in the Grudge Series, we're between 50 and 60. We've been... Up close to 80 tonight, so Slightly appreciate you above guys. average, for sure. Hopefully, uh, if there's any new new people out there checking us out for the first time, you're enjoying it. So, this Grudge series has been going on for a few months now as we're wrapping down, and the the winner of this match will be the first player to to enter the final four. The loser will be out. Loser will be eliminated. We have another match for you on Saturday. Is uh, Josh Sloan and Jason Topsky will take each other on, and also in a in a final eight. So seven, six. So in my best LL Cool J voice, don't call it a comeback. Huh? Oh, my. Candy says she likes getting that four piece. So she definitely, Candy, Candy gets her share of entries. Uh, regardless mm -hmm. how many we give away, she's always been one of our biggest donators here. So. Definitely appreciate you for all the love from since day one. She had, uh, it was one of our, I think she was the first one to win the stream, actually. When we did the stream, she was the, the first uh, Oh yeah. The first winner of the, the live stream giveaway. And earned it. She's very active. Yeah. yeah definitely. Look at this. Ronnie ready to fight. I mean, just when he needs it, he needs and it. And he gets ton 80, number four. I believe they're all his, aren't they? No, Farm. Did you double tap? I feel like you did. I feel like it just said three. Can we get a verification on that? Was that ton 80, number four? Norquist says, don't remind me. Ronnie Matt can leave himself an out. Get on the hill. Thank you, Candy. She said, well worth it. Y'all do a great job. Man. It's just, uh, teamwork around here. We got a lot of people that uh, put their heads together and work on it all. Somebody's working every day on it. Somebody's doing something, if not all of us. This is getting pretty interesting, too, as we four, yep. close so this we are, up here. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of verifications. It is four. Four? Yep. Thanks, everyone. I double tapped. Yep, so that's what we do around here. Put the team together, and together everybody achieves more. 
So good setup by Ronnie. Very good spot. Very good, very good performance when you need it the most. Yeah, and, and honestly, you don't have to take this out here, but you want to. I mean, I, I feel like 141, Jake can do it, but you there probably you probably would have had six First there start. if you needed them. So here we go. Can Jake win two on the trot to force a diddle, or will Ronnie force this onto the 13 onto the tiebreaker match where I would say. Uh, Paulie's six one eight. He's nine seven scoring. Looking too 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 out of shape right now. Either no, right? not at all. <laughs> not at all. But his uh, Paulie might have dialed that right in. Brent spot on with that. He said, Can "Candy certified gem. Always supportive to everyone and everything." And I couldn't agree more. Always. Notify, yep, yeah. There it is. There's number five. So anybody out there think think this will go any way than Ronnie win it? Who does anybody think that the farm's gonna find a way to win three of the next three games? <laughs> three of the next three. Or or does Ronnie get this done and do we get to see bonus darts? It's a tough task. I, I have to say, at this point, I feel like Ronnie gets it done. He showed me too much. I just don't don't think he can lose three in a row. Yeah. Right? He hasn't lost three in a row the whole set. He lost three in a row in cricket, but he wasn't he wasn't throwing like this, you know? Look at this. Number six. Ooh, I got to stop jinxing him. The wifey says, come on, Ron. Moving on that 80 mark. As we're... Just short of the two hours live. These guys are motoring. They are motoring. <laughs> yeah, they really are. I mean, it's uh, and they had a pretty good break. I mean, we we ate half a sandwich out there, and it was a six seven minute break for sure. Good triple by Ronnie. Good triple. It's a long shot. You want to leave yourself that. Yeah, something. that'll go. How would you uh, you know how to do that one? Don't you? Um, what, 60? 60, 60 and 95. Yeah, 57, 30, Yep, 56, 57, 38. 38. Yep, all stay right there. So if he hits the 60, it's five mark on the 19s. Let's do it. You could go 45 for double bull, but I feel like you're better off doing the 19s. Ooh, he was going to go out on a bull. You savage, you. You savage, you. Why would he go that way? I don't know, because he just, he just wanted to flex. <laughs> Maybe he didn't want to be on the 38 just in case. You know what I mean? This maybe he didn't. I mean, this is a this is to stay alive in the set. You miss this, Ronnie ain't missing 32. I mean, at least he hasn't up to this point in the match. That's tough. Tough. Can tough. you say tiebreaker set? There's just this has to be going to the tiebreaker now. Ronnie's 32, been money all night. Money. Dig deep. So here we go. That's bonus deep. darts. Especially, you know, the, the first set was pretty lopsided. You like to see a guy like, you know, Ronnie just put on a performance reminiscent, like that. Reminiscent of he bounced back the comeback pretty hard. versus his brother. I like it. So we'll see a short break from the players. I like when my friends play good. I do too. I Boys do are too. battling. There's a look. So anybody that's thinking about getting there, uh, getting some entries, if you haven't yet, this is uh, this is what you can win this month. There's uh, multiple prizes of each one. Well, not each one, but a couple of them. You got the, uh, you got two of the two of the custom builds jerseys that that will be. There's uh, gonna be, I think we got two or three hats to give away. We got a gift card for fifty. We got the uh, what we deem as the grand prize. The custom steel tip set up with the ring done by jay's art custom and art and then we got our lamp over there so four for five tonight if you want to get on that these these boys are uh duking it out here as they're getting ready to go into the third set and uh i'm not sure anyone knew that uh that was coming after the first set was quite lopsided but ronnie uh Pretty much controlled that the whole time, wouldn't you say? 
Oh yeah, Ronnie came out gunning that set and, and, and never looked back. Yeah, well. never looked back. It's awesome performance, bringing us all a third set because of it. Yeah, so we're getting ready to go live with that. No sir, no sir. Good time to check the poll results coming up. Where is the poll results? How do I do that? Josh, where do I where do I get the where, where, can I pull the poll results up here? I, I forgot how to do it. So it looks like both the players are waking making their way back down to the game room now. So we'll start out. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So for anyone who doesn't know, we, because of the race to nine in the first two sets, we only do the tiebreaker race to four because at this point, most of the guys have played a lot of games. So now this set is going to be race to four. The first game will be five of one, double in, double out, split bowl, just like they've been playing. The next two games will be cricket, two more five of one games, another cricket game. If it does go to the decider again, well, I say again because uh, it happened the last time we were in this, but these guys haven't been the decider yet. But it will be on the 13-inch side. The winner of that cork will choose uh, if they want to go first or pick the game, and then the uh, loser of the cork will get to choose, get to do the other. So if uh, if they choose to go first, they'll get the pick. So let's see uh, let's see what's going to happen here. What do you guys see happening in this tiebreaker? Does Ronnie stay with the hot momentum for 0-1, or does Farm get back onto the form that got him through the cricket nine games to one? So it's going to be uh, going to be a going to be a good one, I believe. And this is for their uh, chance to stay alive in the Grudge series. Both neither of these players have lost a match yet in the series. So Barn Hill checking in. Also T.J. Wheat. That, thanks for the like out there. So Ronnie has, has pretty much been an underdog in, in every match he's played. I'd say that people were kind of deeming him as underdog, and yet here he is again in a third set with a chance to win. Well, he's a grinder, so sometimes that underdog, you know, stats doesn't really matter. When you're a grinder, you find ways to win. So the poll's 38-31. Let's back that up off of that bull and check those doubles. That was uh, Josh put the poll results, so pretty even in the polls. A few extra votes for Jake. It's not abnormal. Jake gets a lot of votes around here, being one of the one of the more recognized players of the club for for winning. As he's had Jake a couple does, of uh, great things on the board. Yeah, and he's done you know well here with the the Tank Memorial Classic runner up with Dan Burke, and you know he won one of the uh, early qual early qualifiers with a stacked field, and you know. So uh, Ronnie doesn't get in. It's not the end of the world. So you want to stay focused if you're Ronnie. Oh, and Farm has picked a good time to find his rhythm here. It's on 80 number six. So I had 86.5, the over-under. I say it's taken out to be pretty. You were originally taking the over until you heard about that troll job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, Ronnie. Stay in form, Ronnie. Yeah, he's gonna have to, cause you're not you're not gonna want to have to win all crickets versus Farm. Farm's a cricket machine. All right. You're Ronnie. You definitely want to just keep keep throwing three digit scores. Hope for one forties and one eighties. You'll take hundreds when they come. Randall, thanks for the light. Michael Boone says, I say Farm never puts his back against the wall. So if Farm could find one of those three to four game rhythms that he's been known to get into here, he could really do some big damage in a set. But yeah, and I said that earlier. Farm's such a fast-paced player. He seems to just 
that momentum. He builds momentum quite fast, you know. It's his second dart at a crucial time that bounced out and kind of screwed him like that, though. That did it again. Remember, it did it in that, uh, yep. didn't that early count. set. Yeah, it didn't count for nothing. It left him at a real high out. Yep. It's a good first start. Yeah, I feel like he's going to hit it. All right, Ronnie, leave yourself an out. I see why that six, I see why that 16 ain't got no paint on it. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie Matt. Oh, John, thanks for the Cash App donation. So, appreciate you. Still some pressure. 16 entries coming in, so you still got time during this set, guys. If you want to get in on the extra entries tonight, as it's four for five, so hate to be pounding them on you, but getting ready for a big, big, big months and stuff coming up. So, Farm giving himself a little pep talk down there. That's when you're in trouble when he starts pep talking himself. Yeah, he's yelling at himself. I yep. think um, this is the biggest game that Ronnie's played all night. You've been getting kind of dusted in cricket a little bit. You've got to win. You got to get the split here. So you got to win one of these two games. And I really would say you want to win this one. Yeah, you don't want because wanna... that way, if you lose the next one, you'll get to start on one. You know what I mean? So really, That's ideal, th yeah. this is the one you want to win. A little high, or both, <laughs> obviously. Can you get it in there, Ronnie? Uh, the darts look good though. He doesn't yeah. have that tightness. The first anymore. one, he just floated a little bit. Little but, blocker. Yeah. I just like that he's not he doesn't he's not short arming. Because farms is starting to get that that look. You see those eyes, man. He starts to get dialed yeah. in. Look he, right away he just goes for that twenty. Oh, he's got zero chill. When it comes to that, he's coming. Farms definitely gonna stay aggressive here. Trip 19 first dart, he might fire right at that sucker up top. Single, single. That's a play out of your book. He's you like You like that play, too. You know that. <laughs> Half the, yeah, yeah. That, get that lead, close it down. I don't blame him. I think it's a smart yeah. play. Especially early in the leg. In the tiebreaker where the pressure could be a little more intense. It feels in the early going there here that, that Farm has. I would say Farm has the. The momentum right now in the set, but Ronnie not far Have to behind. Say a little yeah. bit. If Ronnie could take this game, I think it, it levels it. But if you ask me right now who I thought had the momentum, I would say that it feels like that, that State Farm does. All right, here, here's a spot where Ronnie has to. Trip 18 first dart. See, I, I don't like that because it seems like indecision. I don't feel like that's the shot he was thinking of when he walked on the line. I think I think he, he kind of pulled a panic switch there. and and uh, But he got away with it, actually, so yeah, it's nothing not hurt. Not much damage done. But he's got he's to be a little more decisive here and just know what he's going to do and just stick to the plan. He's a, he's a good game planner. And, and uh, here's a single 19 right here's your shot. There yeah, there. So it worked. Way, Man, I, I like that play. That was a that was a good solid close there. That's how you stay strong right there. And we know this guy loves this number. This this time of the night you expect to, you know, both of them to rain these triples like Yeah, this. they should be locked in. Yeah, this is uh yeah. what'd you play? Eleven games in the first set and then another uh fifteen, so this is game twenty eight. Farm's definitely looking chops right now. He's he's gonna go at that eighteen uh, no matter what. Hits it. Good shot. That was a that was a big shot yeah. there. Ronnie's gonna need to find a couple of triples here. Ronnie's not even really playing bad. He's just he's just little uh mm. dart or two behind. That last triple would have took the lead. Not too far behind, but you have to grind. That tells you what it means to farm right there because he never points never. in Never. I was situation. looking at the 15. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> One more, Ronnie. 
Ronnie's doing what, he, what you're supposed to do. He's a, you really can't fault him. I mean, yeah. he's shooting a four zero, maybe maybe a little lower than he'd like to be at, but he's throwing good darts and and he's he's staying right on his tail. Farm's just explosive right now. Farm's locked in. So you almost look for this just to just to be a one dart finish here or the way he's played this game. Nope. Three dart finish. It is. So two games to nothing in a race to four in the tiebreaker. Ronnie's gonna really have to motor one out here. This is the uh second of the two cricket I games. I think Ronnie's play. gonna get this one right here. I really feel like he needs to. The bad part is it would make it 2-1, and it would have Farm starting the old one so it's not going to make it much easier on him, but he, you definitely can't lose yeah. it. But he has got the best of Farm in the old one so you can't be too bad at that spot, you know? <laughs> no, I agree I agree with that for sure. Ronnie's definitely been the better old one player tonight. If he gets this, this, this leg and, and he gets his old one... He's, he's st I, I like his chances still, you know, keep fighting. Good dart. Wow, what a shot. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> all right. Just over the two-hour mark, so appreciate all y'all been hanging out. Two hours, three minutes in the live as we're halfway through the tiebreaker. I mean, that's, fast. that's that's fast, man. Fast. I would say we had, I felt like we had at least normal breaks, too. You know, I mean, there was a 12 minutes of break time. Couple five minutes, yeah. Yeah. Farm just literally wastes no time. No, you could see exactly where it... <laughs> you could see exactly where the pace comes from as he's up there. And Ronnie's not no slouch either. Ronnie's up there. No, at the Ronnie's line. giving it right back to him. He says, "Come on, he's come at get the some. line too, ready, come boy. get some." Look at the. I like this leg. This is what Ronnie needed. This is what I felt like he was gonna do. Let's throw one of them legs in the one hole where doesn't matter if your opponent's at a four. Another four. bounce out dart for him. That's not counting. Oh, I gave him a three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it registered something. Good big dart. He is just clutch right here. What a leg from Ronnie at 5.60 when he needed it the most. The most. He didn't hear no bell yet. That's what it sounds like to me. He's ready. Yep. I ain't hear no bell. Oh man, that's a big dart. Big dart. That could have just got a little tricky, man. That was a good <laughs> dart by Ronnie. Stay, really good dart by tight. Ronnie. And that this is why. Because that's the kind of yeah. stuff that Farm does behind you. Yeah. Now if you're Ronnie, you just throw your Yeah, balls. easy shot here. Easy yeah. shot. He gave it to you. We'll add to those 500. It's 501 clips Josh got to go through now. So, big shot. Now, can Ronnie break him in an 0-1 game when, when right here? This would be huge. So, this this in round is going to tell the difference here. I, I think it's uh, if somebody doesn't get in, that could be very costly, obviously, stating the obvious here, but. It's hard to think it'd be Jake that don't get in as he's got four yeah, or five he's... perfect ins tonight. Josh says, I'll have him ready by 2027. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be so many clips. Oh, man. Ronnie, who the first start in the triple off the, off the double and doesn't get the other, but 420 does sound good. A few more games. <laughs> I'll get that 420 break that I so desire. All right. Good Look dart. at this. 140. 420 dart, divided by hard. three. <laughs> <laughs> this guy.
2042, John says. Ronnie stays right with him with the ton, though. Exactly what he needs. And I think Ronnie's got to know. He's like, man, my out's been a little better. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Jake's scoring's been excellent, but he has stumbled a little bit on the outs. <clears throat> There's that 80 viewer mark late in the set here. So we'd like to see everybody tuning in and see how this is going to end up tonight as we're getting Find close one, to the Ronnie. finish. Find one, Ronnie. He does. Come on. It's a battle. It's like the old NBA jam shootout. They pull even. <laughs> He's heating up. Oh, six darts from 220. What do you got to say about that, Ronald, to tie the set? Right now, tons. 180 leaves you tops. I mean, how good would that feel? He knew it. All right, Shanghai. Cool. Jake. He's heating up is a classic for sure. Josh, that was uh, that was my game back in the day. He, he not fourth down. He's on fire. <laughs> Third down. Come on, still can do it, Ronnie. Oh Is my God, the it? Shanghai. Oh. oh. Gave himself a shot. So. What what do you think? 60 28? Oh, Is he man. gonna go 48 40? What, what's he gonna do here? Is it, it should go 60 28, right? I'm thinking 60. Yeah, I think 60 is the shot. 60. I, 60 is the shot, I feel yeah. like, but I just don't know if that's what Jake's gonna do and what he's feeling. Oh, he'd rather go 54 34. Right, why not? I, I guess when you're that good, that's just what you do. Yeah. Who cares about percentages? He did that, he did, he did that just to mess us up because he knew we were not guessing that up here for the out. So he's like, yeah, I'll do 54-34. That's he's on fire. Almost up to the 90 viewer mark as we close in and <clears throat> Ronnie in a must win game. Must win. No options. It is 501, isn't it? That was only the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They might have screwed it up here. Should I go stop them? Probably should. Uh, I feel like it should be another 01 game. Sandusky Steve, appreciate you. He says, sorry he's late. It's great stuff, Scott and Day Day. They, they're just, they just heard him yell down. They're supposed to be playing 01 one more time. They uh, they messed up, so they're gonna they're gonna get to start this game over. Yep, because game uh, game six should always be cricket is is the way this goes. So just a slight mistake, but Dady ran down and got them straightened out. So if you're just jumping in. Uh, this is uh, if Jake wins this. This is it's over because uh, they've split the first two sets one one, and Jake holds a three to one lead in a race to four. But Ronnie will be starting double in double out five on one split bowl. And if Ronnie's able to win this game and continue the match, it will be cricket in the next leg. In on the first dart, finds a triple five, finds a triple one. So a little unlucky on the scoring darts, but he does get in on his first dart. Sorry about that. Chris we, uh, loves to tell people they switch when the score is odd. And he's right about that. We didn't turn the talkies on this time. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't reach them fast enough. Normally we normally we just chime in on the walkie talkie. Luckily we sent Day Day. If I would have tried to go down there, they would have been already to the bulls by the time Stop. I got down there. <laughs> Unlucky three in a bed by Ronnie. It's not the three in a bed you want to see. One forty by Jake. He's looking good in the two. If you're Ronnie, you just string string together a ton. Get one in there, Ronnie. There it is. Just gotta stay. Just gotta stay close. Jake is. 
filling it. That's a good idea. What Josh said, we could sw set up something with the lights where we could do an indicator from from the stream deck. Oh, just click the button and it would light up. All we could have probably went red, green, you know, just hitting it back and forth. But look at Ronnie when he needs it the most. One more. Ooh. It is an out, but you're almost going to have to go because Jake's got six from 145, and he no. could honestly do it right here. He could end. Oh, I thought that said 161. Yeah, it says yeah, 181. Yeah. So it's over. Yeah, I mean, it's... I hate to say it's over, over, but. I mean, three singles here, though. I mean, then what? Bullseye. Oh, he went 15. Now what? Now it's not over. Yeah, you know. Still, though. Still, so your farm has another chance. Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie didn't pressure it too much. Boy, would that be a huge out if Ronnie does pull that off. Jake goes a little unorthodox, I say, maybe. No, I like that on 103. Oh, he blew it. Because it, it it leaves you okay with the the nineteen leaves eighty four. Yeah, either way, it's a sixty twenty four. Yeah. So it's nineteen okay, on one hundred three so is not single, bad. You're good. Yeah, yeah, single you're good too. Yeah, I, I like nineteen on one hundred three. Come on, Ronnie. One thirty. So with three match starts to move into the final four. And he does. And gets it on his first one in the tiebreaker. So congratulations to State Farm. Farm. Uh, and, and good job by Ronnie on, on a uh, on a good run through a, a couple of tough matches, defeating uh, defeating his brother and uh, Tom Keller to get to this point where yeah. he pushed Ron, uh, pushed stay Farm one to the thing, third set. One thing about Ronnie, he's a grinder. We all yeah. we all seen that. He was down, you know, huge in the cricket. And I think we saw that one. Uh, one. I think we saw that the the O one is is really a big deal in these sets here, man. Because Ronnie looked like he was had no chance in the in the cricket, and then he came right out and he won the first four games of the O one. Then I think Jake won one, and he won like one or two more. But he he really played well. So you can technically call it the equalizer in a way because it it does, man. It really does. No matter it, how sharp you are, the, some couple missed darts can cost a whole appreciate, match. Appreciate uh, appreciate you guys. We had a whole bunch of. Viewers in there tonight as in the 80 to 90 range, so that's good for us, especially in a grudge series with just just two players. We usually uh, usually get our bigger numbers when we got you know eight or ten people here for tournaments. So everyone that hung out today and uh, all you guys that bought in on those extra uh, entries, anything that comes in the rest of the night, we'll still give you four for five if you want to send something later. But um, thanks to everybody who donated, we'll get all those uh, we'll get all those up in. Uh, fixed on a page it'll be pinned at the top tomorrow and uh you can see where you stand and your chances to win so appreciate everybody and uh we're gonna get logged off here man thanks for tuning in and uh appreciate y'all yep. playing along another great night of darts be sure to check back saturday and check out jay topsky versus josh loam should be a banger another crucial match elimination mover win mo uh, winner moves on all right take care guys